Insects represent more than half of all known living organisms, with more than a million species having been described. CSIRO has been collecting and recording Australian insects since the late 1920s. Australia's insects are among the most diverse and least known in the world. To farmers and others whose livelihoods depend upon the proper management of plants, animals and soils, insects and the control of them are major factors in their daily operation. The Australian National Insect Collection is the preeminent collection of Australian insects. Maintained by CSIRO for researchers, industry and government agencies. We have a collection of insects here because they provide a physical record of Australian biodiversity that has enduring value. We can come back to it time and time again to check and confirm our research and understanding. We have to understand insects because they're key components to our ecosystems. If we don't understand how they are helping to manage ecosystems and keep ecosystems functioning, then we can't maintain ecosystems into the future. We're trying to convert the study of insects into the digital world and make it easier for people to have access to the information they need for informed decisions. And CSIRO is developing a technique to produce high quality 3D digital models of insects to bring these assets into this realm. The rig consists of three components, a two axis turntable, a macro uh, rail and a camera with macro ring flash attached to it. Uh, for a small insect like this, we have to capture multi-focus images at different depths and combine them into a single image with the uh, Weevil in focus so that it can be used for 3D reconstruction. That also means that we have to capture multiple focus images at multiple views. That leads to uh, 4,500 images for this small Weevil. software is loading individual images and extract information from the pattern at the same time to estimate the camera angle. We're looking at each point here, a box here represents the location where an image is captured. And then we can zoom in. Once we got this data, we can export it to different formats, such as HTML, X3D, all those common uh, 3D uh, formats. People have been doing something similar like this uh, for some time, but no one has ever come close to this state to achieve the highest possible quality. Once you take a physical specimen into the digital domain, it becomes accessible, available, and able to be analysed in new and different ways. We need to use technology so we can understand nature fast enough that we can do something about the impacts that human beings are having on it. Having 3D models of insects is going to open up the collection to users who can't physically access the collection, and it also protects the integrity of the specimens we have here. The Atlas of Living Australia is a national initiative for sharing biodiversity information through the web. These 3D models will add a new dimension to the Atlas of Living Australia. We will use them to inform quarantine, pest management, biodiversity research, and just people wanting to know more about what lives around them. We need to accelerate the rate at which we can understand the natural world in which we live. Our goal is that our great-grandchildren will enjoy the same Australia that we do today.